Welcome back to DP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let us see in detail about the activities in Primavera P6. Activities are the lowest level of a work breakdown structure. Activity types. Here, in the details section, we have the activity types based on the functions of the activity in the project. To indicate the activities resources are scheduled, according to the calendar, we select task dependent. If the activities resources are required according to the resource own calendar, we should be selecting resource dependent. If the activities duration is completely dependent on its predecessor or successor activities, then we should be selecting level of effort and remember that level of effort activities do not have constraints. If the activity marks the beginning of a major stage in the project, select start milestone. If the activity marks the end of a major stage in the project, select the finish milestone. And if the activity's duration is dependent on the earlier start and late finish start of the activities, then we need to select the WBS summary. Duration types. Select duration type based on whether schedule, resources or cost will be most important when activities are updated in your project. You have to select fixed duration and units per time or fixed duration and units to indicate that the schedule is a limiting factor in your project. The activity's duration does not change regardless of the number of resources assigned when you modify or update activities. Select fixed units per time to indicate the resource availability is the crucial aspect of your project. If you select the units per time or the rate of a resource remains constant even if your activities duration changes. Select fixed units to indicate that the units or cost is the limiting factor which means the total amount of work is fixed. Typically, you would use this type when you are using resource dependent activities. That is, increasing the resources will decrease the activity duration. Next, percent complete type. Let us see the percent complete types now. By default, Primevera considers the duration percent as the percentage complete. You must define the percent complete type for each activity based on your requirement. Select physical to indicate the activity's percent complete will be entered by the user for each activity. Select duration to indicate the activity's percent complete be calculated from the plan and the remaining durations. So if it is 10 days plan activity and if it is 5 days is done, the percentage complete would be 50%. Select units to indicate the activity's percent complete be calculated from the actual and remaining units. So here, if your planned activities are 100 and if your actual is 50, that means your percent complete is 50%. Activity calendar. Activity calendar displays the selected activities calendar. You can select the new calendar by clicking on this browse button. WBS. Click on the browse button to assign a new WBS element to the selected activity. Responsible manager. This would display the name of the responsible manager from the OBS assigned to the selected activities WBS element. Primary resource. This field displays the name of the selected activities primary resource. You can click this plus button and select the primary resource. Schedule information. Go to activity details status tab to view and edit detailed schedule information for the selected activity which includes actual start and finish dates, total float, free float, constraints and duration. You can also see and edit activities, labor, non-labor and material cost values. The module automatically recalculates the time value and period you enter according to the project's calendar. To do this, in the activities window, select the activity whose schedule information you want to define. In the status tab, you can update the duration fields like in the original field, enter the expected number of work periods required to complete the select activity. In the remaining field, enter the remaining number of work periods needed to complete this selected activity. In the at complete field, enter an estimate of the duration at completion time for the selected activity. If the activity is already in progress, 
type a new estimate at completion duration is equal to actual duration plus remaining duration. In the status section, you can update the start and finish dates. If the activity has already started, mark the started checkbox and then enter the actual start date in the started field. Click on the browse button in the finished field, then select if select the date if the activity is complete mark the finished checkbox and then specify the actual finish date in the finished field. If the selected activity has already started, then the expected finish field displays the date the activity is expected to end. Anyone who has the access to the project can edit this date. If percent complete type is set to duration, then the duration percentage complete is automatically calculated from the original and the remaining durations. Similarly, if the type has been set as units, it is calculated from actual and remaining units. If the selected activity's percent complete type is set to physical, you can enter its physical percent complete in the physical percentage field. Next, here you see the total float which is nothing but the amount of time that the activity can be delayed without delaying the project's finish date. Next, you will see the free float, which is nothing but the amount of time the selected activity can be delayed without delaying immediate successor activities. Next section is the constraints. You have to use constraints when activities must start or must finish on a specific decided date. Here. You will be having an option to select the primary constraint and secondary constraints to activities to define the dependencies on specific dates. Here in the labor units, the total amounts for the, all the resources as in the resources tab will be shown here in the status tab. The budget and amount is the expected number of units of cost that the selected activities resources will be using. The actual amount is the actual number of labor or non-labor or cost the selected activity resources have already used. The remaining amount is the number of remaining units the selected activities resources will use. The at complete amount is an estimate of the units at completion time for the selected activities resource. Now let us go to the relationships tab where you can create relationships between activities to indicate whether an activity can begin after some activities start or finish. Generally, once you are done with assigning all the relationships for all the activities, you need to schedule the project to calculate the early and late dates for all the activities. You might be knowing that you can establish relationships between activities either in the same project or link projects by creating relationships between different projects. There are basically four types of relationships in the schedule. Here in the details section, if you click on this assign button by selecting any activity and choose any activity here in the relationship drop down you will be seeing the four options finish to start the successor activity can begin only when the predecessor activity completes second one is finish to finish the finish of the successor activity depends on the finish of the predecessor activity third one start to start the start of the successor activity depends on the start of the predecessor activity. And the last fourth one, start to finish. The successor activity cannot finish until the predecessor activity starts. Lag. You can also define a lag time for the relationship. Lag is nothing but the number of time units from the start or finish of an activity to the start or finish of its successor. Lag can be positive or negative value, so this is nothing but the gap between the two activities that you would like to define. For example, for this activity I am mentioning lag as 5 days. That means after completing the preliminary design activity, the RFEQ activity will only start after 5 days. Here if you click this relationships icon, the relationships in the Gantt chart would be visible. If you off, they could be going invisible like this. To create relationships. You need to just point the cursor either on the left or right of the place selected activity and then drag to the left or right of the cursor act successor activity. Then the point changes to the symbol like this that you are seeing now. The relationship type will be defined based on the point that you are connecting on the left or the right. 
So this would be a shortcut to create relationships which would definitely save your time. You can also do the same thing by going into the activity network diagram. Here you can see also the trace logic. Like you can trace the relationship logics between activities easily. In the codes tab, you can click on assign and then select the activity code value that you want to assign. You can also create an activity code value while assigning an activity code. Here in the notebook tab, you can type any comments to the resources who are working on the activity. These notes are then posted with the activity in the progress report module for the resources to read. Steps An activity can be further broken down into smaller task increments called as steps. And then you can assign weightages to these steps to calculate the activity's percentage complete. You can assign the available step templates or else you can create your own activity step templates manually. In the feedback tab, you can review the notes from the primary resource area. These are nothing but like comments. WPS and documents are nothing but work products and documents. So this will help us in creating catalog and track all the documents and deliverables such as SOPs, drawings, procedures, process documents, guidelines. So any kind of document can be set up here in this section. Expenses for the selected activity. You can add all the expenses here. Click on summary tab. This displays the complete details of the units on the percentage like budgeted, actual and remaining. Here in the resources tab, we have already seen how to add the resources for the particular activity. You should be clicking this add resource and then select the available resource from the masters and simply add here. Once you're done assigning all the resources to all the activities, go to the project tab and then click on resource assignments. Here you can see the complete loading of the resources by the time unit wise. You can select either the budget, actual or the remaining to view the complete loading. Got it? So friends, this is all about working with activities in Primera P6. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.